Hey everyone, Trix here, and welcome to another Animal Fusion video. For the first time in this series, and making a comeback because feedback seemed good from my last video, my voice is back! So to start things off, confession time. I was dreading this Animal Fusion as soon as it was suggested to me by Metalcore. A little shameless plug here, but he's a popular Kingdom Hearts Union Cross YouTuber that I follow, and he creates great videos involving both the global and Japanese regions of the mobile game. So definitely check him out if you're into the game. So this little project began with a simple enough idea, merge a whale with a land creature. Not too bad a challenge really, not as easy as merging sea creature with sea creature, but doable. So off I went to get two more non-sea creature animals to fuse with a whale. And keeping to my own promise that I will always merge what is randomly generated for me, I got stuck with two tiny rodents. Yeah. A bat and a weasel. If anything remotely apart from a creepy mutant popped into your heads just now at the mention of those three animals being fused, then you were a far cry better off than me when I first pictured each of these animals combining in my head. After I had gathered the animals I needed to fuse, I had a few concept variations floating around in my head, some nightmare fuel and others a bit more on the adorable side. In combing through references for the bat, it was hard to find a good looking bat that could combine with my favorite type of whale, that being orca. I don't know if you have ever googled bats, but majority of them ain't pretty looking. But after a little while, I came across the fruit bat with his furry upper body, small ears, and somewhat adorable big eyes, and I knew that that was the best I was going to get. Finding a weasel reference was easy enough, they don't change very much in appearance other than colouring so it was only a matter of challenging myself from there to make up three different concepts. I wanted to draw up a sea flying as well as a land based concept to make sure I really push myself not to settle on the one concept idea. I swapped around different attributes from each species to see if I could get each their own dominant concept but I must say that the bat face on the whale head of the flyer concept was the only thing that was giving me nightmares. With all three concepts drawn up, I took the finished rough ideas to my discord for your guys input into which creature I should move ahead with, and majority of them felt the same as me, that the whale dominant swimmer was the strongest Bahasal concept. Taking the winning concept, I wanted to challenge myself with an interesting pose, so I thought it might be a nice shake up to have the Bahasal arching back towards us. It wasn't until much later on in finalizing that sketch or that pose that I realized that would be hiding his back fin to the point where no one would even be able to tell he had one. So I tried to squeeze in a peek of it as realistically as I could because there was no way I was changing the pose at that point in time. Just a heads up that the earlier half of this speed paint featured a different way of capturing my work in Photoshop that had pop-up windows and my lazy Nuzume Pro settings. And while this did cut out any random pop-ups that my computer tends to do, I felt it cut out too much of what I was doing, so I changed to capturing my full monitor from the line art stage. So you'll be able to see whenever I open a tab or tweak my Lazy Zoom A Pro app. Uh, hopefully this helps you guys understand what exactly the heck I'm doing, even though everything's sped up. With this being an underwater creature, I decided I wanted to go back to playing with my watercolor Photoshop brushes. As the color palette was restricted to the orcas black and white, I wanted the added texture and the color of the Bahasal that these brushes create. While I don't think I've mastered the use of the watercolor painting style in the conventional sense, rather I use it as I would with regular acrylic paint. I still like the visual interest I can create with these brushes. Still got some growing to do with my watercolor use, but that will come as I use them more and more on my video and casual projects. Anywho, that's all I can think of to give you guys a heads up on. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to cover in my next video. And thanks again for watching this new speed paint, everyone. Please help share the love by watching my other videos, join the group on my Discord, or even feel free to make an Animal Fusion suggestion of your own. I hope you like this end result, Metalcore. You're very lucky this fusion didn't drive me insane like I originally thought it would. Enjoy, you guys. Bye!